Um, okay, I'm going to try to make this video pretty quick and get to the point, okay? Now, most of us are familiar with this picture right here, okay, of the creepy man and the little girl. And it came off of my video, the creepy man and the little girl. Okay, now... This little girl, okay, like I had stated in the video, I, I don't believe that this little girl is any relation to this man. Okay, just from what I observed, there is no, uh, it doesn't look like, it doesn't seem to be her father. He doesn't seem to be anyone closely related to her or anyone that actually cares for her, okay? And the reason I say that is because of the body language, okay, and the actions. Um, it just does not seem like, you know, that they're supposed to be together, okay? Something just did not sit well with me on that video, on the surveillance with the two of them walking through the hallways. It just didn't sit with me well at all, all right? Now... Since, you know, all of this has been brought to the public's attention, a lot of us have been trying to figure out if the little girl is missing. And we've been trying to see if, if we can find her on any kind of national database for missing people or missing children. And at one point, there was a little girl, you know, that some people had sent me pictures of, um, and I believe her name might have been Samaya. Okay, but I'm not exactly sure, but I'm, but I do believe that that might have been her name, Samaya. Okay, now Samaya, however, I think she might have been five, five or six, and she was full African American. Okay, this little girl right here in the picture does not appear to me to be full African American. Uh, like I had stated in the video, she seems to either be biracial or just Hispanic. And she doesn't look to be five or six. To me, she looks to be like three or four. All right. Now, this little girl right here, however, Ariana Fitz, would have been four on that date. Okay. Okay. As a matter of fact, it would have just been a couple days after her birthday. Um, you know, and I know that there is speculation that all of this was really on the 6th and not the 8th and all of this. Well, if that's the case, then that would have actually been this baby's fourth birthday. Okay. This little girl has never been found by her family. Her family is still desperately searching for her. All right. She, like I said, she's been missing since February of 2016, right before her third birthday. Okay, she is missing from California, from Oakland, California. And yes, that took place um, at the Crown Plaza in Chicago. But when someone is a trafficker, it doesn't matter to them the distance. The distance doesn't matter. Because this is what they do. All right. It says right here, Ariana Fitz was reported missing from the San Francisco, California area on April 5th, 2016. She was last seen in Oakland, California in February 2016. On April 8th, 2016, Ariana's mother, Nicole Fitz, was found murdered and buried in a public park in San Francisco. It is believed that Ariana was not with her mother when she was killed. Okay, so, I don't know, just, that something's strange about that, okay? Let me go over here. This is actually an article Okay, that talks about Ariana and her mother. And I'm going to read it to y'all real quick just so you become familiar with it if you aren't already. Okay, but to me, this little girl does look 
very similar to the little girl in the picture. Okay. Let me uh, zoom out a little bit. Okay. And it says right here, baby daughter missing. Mysterious logo may hold key to mother's murder in San Francisco. And this is Ariana's mom right here. That's her. She's so cute. God, she's an adorable little baby. Young mother Nicole Fitz was found in a shallow grave in a San Francisco city park just feet from the swing sets and slides on April 8, 2016. But where is Nicole's two-year-old daughter, Ariana Fitz? Could she have been snatched by the hands hired to rock their cradle? Nicole Fitz was, all, by all accounts, the nicest of her group of friends, always wearing a smile that masked the struggle of a single mom totally devoted to her two-year-old daughter. Nicole often had to work double shifts at a Best Buy just to survive in their very expensive city of San Francisco. The devoted mom is tortured. Spend time with her beautiful daughter or pay the rent. She had a full-time babysitter watching Ariana day and night while Nicole looked for a place to stay. The babysitter was Helena Hearn, and she came with a backup, her sister, Ciola Hearn. Nicole trusted the Hearn sister so much that she would often leave Ariana overnight instead of waking her little girl. Then a godsend. One of Nicole's co-workers invited her and Ariana to move in. It's just minutes away from work. But it's miles away from the babysitters, and friends say they don't want to let go. Then Nicole's heart stops. The babysitters have reportedly taken Ariana and left town without telling her. They reportedly took her to Disneyland without Nicole's permission. For Nicole, it was the last straw and time to bring Ariana back home for good. She was like, okay, April 3rd, I want my daughter, said Nicole's friend and roommate Goyette Williams. I'm coming to get her. She's coming to live with me. End of story. On the night of April 1st, 2016, Nicole takes out $600 from an ATM and tells Goyette she's running an errand. She was like, I have, met, I have to meet my babysitter. She's over at some restaurant on 3rd Street. She's upset. I need to see if she's okay, said Goyette Williams. She said she was only going to be gone for five minutes. <laughs> But Nicole isn't back in five minutes. But Nicole didn't answer. Nicole doesn't come home and never shows up for work. Friends and family contact police. After a week of waiting comes the news they don't want to hear. Nicole Fitz's body is discovered buried in a shallow grave in John McLaren Park on April 8th. It was just, it was just a couple feet from the playground where the kids play said Contessa Fitz, Nicole's sister. She has been violated and left in a ditch underneath a piece of plywood, said Nicole's friend, Michael Jacob. Why? Who would want her dead? I have no idea. And this is the board that covered the shallow grave. Okay, and the police believe that this logo on here might hold some sort of clue to who murdered the mother. Could the board that covered Nicole's body be a clue? Police think so. It's our belief that the persons responsible for placing Nicole in the hole brought the board with them. We are additionally requesting assistance to identify the markings on the plywood in the hopes of locating where it came from, authorities said in a news conference. But baby Ariana is missing. Nicole's sister, Contessa, says suspicion immediately falls on the babysitters, Ciolo and Helena Hearn. Helena Hearn did six years of hard time in prison for killing the father of one of her children in 2001. Mm -hmm. Helena's attorney has been quoted as saying, we should not assume that they were, they were the last ones to see Ariana. Police served search warrants at the Hearn family residences in Emeryville and Oakland as well as the third home in Daly City. It has been reported that there was no sign of the two-year-old anywhere. San Francisco police aren't talking 
but it's been reported the babysitter's statements about Ariana's whereabouts have been inconsistent. And now they're refusing to cooperate with cops. Since Selena and Ciolo Hearn are reportedly not talking to police, we went to see if they would talk to Crime Watch Daily. There was no answer at Ciolo's last known address in Daly City, nor at Helena's last known address in Oakland. Neighbors said Helena, her husband, and kids were long gone. San Francisco police have declined our request for an interview, saying only this is an active and open investigation. Cops are calling the Hearn sisters persons of interest in Ariana Fitz's disappearance. But the babysitters have not charged, have not been charged, and they have not been connected in any way to Nicole's murder. So for now, Nicole's heartbroken loved ones are left with no choice but to take their search to the streets, holding candlelight vigils with friends and co-workers, and blanketing San Francisco streets with death, desperate calls for help. Little Ariana Fitz was last seen in Oakland, California in February 2016. Nicole's workplace, Best Buy, has kicked in $10,000 as a reward in this case. If you have any information on Ariana Fitz's disappearance or Nicole Fitz's murder, contact the San Francisco Police Department. You know, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. To me, to me, it looks like, to me, it looks like her. It looks like her to me. You know, and like I said, I'd love to have an honest opinion from y'all. You know, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, what you say. You can say, I'm reaching. You can say, I'm right. You can say, I'm wrong. You can say, a little bit. No, yes. That's fine. But, I don't know. I know what I see. And I know... What I feel, and to me, I don't know, they look alike to me. They look alike. This breaks my heart. What a beautiful little girl. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Uh, if y'all need to send me anything, please feel free to do so. My email and my Facebook is listed down below. Uh, leave your comments and feedback below also, please. Um, and I don't know, tell me, tell me what y'all think about this. You know, what's your opinion? Until the next time, you guys have a great day. Thank you.